Better than expected jobs report. The Labor Department says the U.S. economy added 253,000 jobs last month, while the unemployment rate dropped to 3.4 percent. ABC News business reporter Alexis Christophers is here to unpack these numbers for us. Alexis, what does this say about the job market and the economy in general? It looks like there's a main major disconnect between what's happening right. in the economy and the job market, right? So we have a very resilient job market, despite the fact that we had banking turmoil and continue to have banking turmoil. The economy is slowing down, and we have high inflation. I know there were a lot of tech layoffs recently, but there were there was hiring in other sectors that offset that. So here you go, 253 thousand jobs added, crushing the estimate for 180,000. The unemployment rate right now sitting at 3.4 percent. That is the lowest level we've seen since 1969. Dug a little deeper here to look at the um, the inflation barometer of this report, which is wages. And we saw that wages month over month up half a percent, year over year up 4.4 percent. So wages not keeping up with inflation, but still ticking up a little bit. Are there specific sectors that stick out to you in this report? Yeah, so we did see jobs added in professional and business services, healthcare, leisure and hospitality. We've been seeing that sort of month over month as we continue uh, to come out of the pandemic and those areas come back to life. We did see little change, though, in other major industries like manufacturing, construction, and transportation. Do want to note the February and March numbers were revised to show 149,000 fewer jobs added in those months, but overall, a picture of a very strong job market despite a lot of headwinds. So what does this mean for the Fed and interest rate? Could this maybe prompt more rate hikes, or does it still look like they'll stay steady? I don't think this report is strong enough to have the Fed continue its aggressive campaign of interest rate hikes. Wall Street seems to be betting we could be in for an interest rate cut late summer into the fall. I'll tell you, if we got this jobs report a few months ago, it might have really freaked out the market. Mm. But this report, I think, now reassures us that the economy is holding up. And you know what? The argument for us falling into a recession is a harder argument to make because I don't see how you have a recession when your unemployment rate is at a 53-year low. Alexis, do we have some good news here? I think possibly we do. Good news on a Friday. <laughs> we will take that. Alexis Christopher, you thank it. you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.